Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, today we didn't get, get really a lot of price action, so we pretty much started roughly where we, well, we pretty much where we started the day, roughly, okay, roughly, a little higher. But Bitcoin, it shows me at least here on TradingView 0.87% to the upside. That's pretty much nothing. Um, slight upside today. Nothing that's really meaningful. Um, I'm here on the daily chart. I mean, here nothing changed. Yeah. So for me, still a couple of things worth mentioning. First of all, the larger wave four, I find it still more likely. Nothing really happened to sort of invalidate it, made it to make it less likely. Okay, on the micro level, we had one break of one micro resistance. Yeah, on the 30 minute chart, that's pretty much it. Okay. Of course, it could be the beginning for maybe something more bullish, but much more work is needed. For now, the bulls are not really strong enough yet. But uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is, um, so yeah, first thing is the yellow count still seems to be more likely. And that's basically because of these five wave movements to the downside we've seen. But also the market reacted to the support region I showed you yesterday. Okay, so you see that here. We had a, uh, a perfect reaction to that 50% retracement level I highlighted here yesterday. So we had a reaction from 55,830 to where we are now 58K. Uh, we already saw a bit of a bounce there yesterday, but I think what we should do now is we take a look at the smaller time frame, and I will explain you any adjustments that happened after the last video. So before we do that, quickly to give you the context I started the day um, with a post to our gold members and the post was about Bitcoin's movement and Bitcoin could either move in a fourth wave so a small let's say small corrective rally but it was already quite high it had already touched here the 50% retracement which was sort of the maximum really oops, the maximum it should really do that was at 56,980. So it did break a little later above that level. And so the idea was it's either a wave four corrective rally or a wave two. If it's a wave two, the upper resistance area should be observed, okay? So the market then, I think it was sort of early in the New York session, in the New York trading session, the market broke above the lower resistance area and rallied quite quickly into the upper resistance area. So you clearly see how relevant these levels were or the areas because first of all, pretty much since yesterday, the market or between yesterday and sort of start of the New York session, the market um, respected this micro resistance area pretty much the entire night and then rallied into the next one and now is respecting the upper resistance area. Now it's all about understanding what we're dealing with up here. Okay, so that means I'm still I still view it as a corrective rally and really nothing meaningful changed. Okay, so let's take a look at the smaller time frame live chart now. Here you see the colors are slightly different because um, those were kind of the adjustments I made, but it's pretty much uh, that wave two I just showed you, which in the update I sent through had an orange color. It's now yellow just to keep it all in line with previous wave counts and everything. But the yellow wave count is still the bearish one. So we have a wave one to the up to the downside and a wave two to the upside, and then a wave one to the downside and a wave two to the upside. And if we now see a break below micro support, it could indicate the start of the third wave. So this is what we now need to talk about. Um, there is one resistance error that I just showed you on Discord. And if we break above it, it could still indicate, and that would be a, let's say a short term more bu bullish, but still possibly bearish alternative. We could still be in a larger wave too. And why all of that? The reason is that the move down between the 25th of August and the 28th of August is a five wave move down, which means I definitely still have to consider that this is a bearish setup. If, however, you know, the bears fail and fail and fail and the bulls drive the price through resistance areas, at some point this will be a signal that we have to consider that the bears are failing. And if that's the case, it could always, you know, typically leads to a bit of a short squeeze. 
Now that hasn't happened yet, but as soon as we break above the upper resistance area, this is really the last resistance area for the bearish count here, 62,900, that is when the white wave count, which is the bullish one, will become more likely. And this is what you see on the daily chart, this white scenario we've been talking about. Really, you can see it here since March, we didn't really get, I mean, yeah, it's volatile, but really it's still a corrective um, structure and we are still in the middle of the range. So there isn't really much new development that's really meaningful. On the micro level, we have, we have um, developments, yes, but that doesn't, you know, for example, a break of resistance on the micro level, it, it doesn't really affect the bigger picture, yeah. So, but that means I give the yellow count still precedence and I'm now watching for a possible reaction in this micro resistance area. So this is the um, resistance area that's relevant for a wave two corrective rally. And the resistance is between 57,750 and 58,929. Out of this, because of the length of the rally we had, a five wave move could develop. Now, if this is the yellow count, which is bearish, it should stay a three wave move. But if one more high occurs, it could be a five wave move. And that would be again, potentially bullish. But we would need to look at the structure then. Um, more important than the microstructures for me are the levels. So I added also intraday a micro support region it's between 57,358 and 57,980. And as long as this level is holding, we could possibly push higher. But we're also below resistance. So we're pretty much in no man's land. I did put it into the last update I sent through um, on Discord that it wouldn't be surprising to see maybe a day or two consolidation because if this is a way four, it might consolidate for a day or so. Yeah, maybe not two, but we'll see. It wouldn't be surprising. If this is really a four and we get one more high, then, um, yeah, it would be potentially more bullish, but it would not be clearly bullish because there is still the larger resistance area, which is why I mean, you know, it is um, just just a, a micro level or micro wave count change or something. It's not going to be so meaningful. We need to see the price break above 62,900 to clearly start to favor a more bullish interpretation. But as I said, it could still be the white count. It could still be the bullish count, which is why I added yesterday this support zone to the chart. But it just, from my opinion, it just needs to prove itself first, you know, it just has to prove itself. So, um, but that's really it. So what it means in very simple terms is after the rally we had today, we have a micro support zone 57,358, any break below it should indicate we're ready for the next decline. If there is no break below support, be ready for potentially one more high and the more and the transformation into a larger wave too. That's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.